Um, so I read through most of the rules. I am going to need to use the rule book to kind of help myself along since this is my first game. And fun fact, in case you all were not aware, although I've definitely mentioned this on the podcast before, I do not tend to learn games from the rule book. That is not a thing that I'm usually very good at. I prefer to be taught the game by another person or to watch a video. Um, but reading rule books is not my jam. So, but this one, I mean, this is a fairly simple game and it's really similar to the regular Let's Make a Bus Route game. And since I'm already very familiar with that game, that makes this one a little bit easier. The coolest part about this game is that the lid swoop, has this really soft, like cushy interior in the lid to roll the dice in. Like it's not felt. Or maybe, I don't, like, I don't know what it is. It doesn't feel like it, or maybe it's a special kind of felt. It's really soft, though, and it feels really good. Ooh, yay, Nick's copy of this showed up today. Yeah, I'm stoked. Um, yeah, built-in dice tray, right? Like, Sashi and Sashi, the production quality of their games is always so good. Um, <laughs> that's true. I do, I don't like to read from a book. I guess that I never thought about that, but I guess I have always been like that. Um, I do. I tend to pick stuff up reasonably quickly, though, um, if I'm shown how to do it. So I guess that's a, a plus, at least with board games. Um, like I recently did a stream with Keystone Games. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Rose Gauntlet Games for, in their Keystone game that they taught me. They said that I got the highest score of anybody that they taught it to um, for a first play. And I... It's not that I'm like great at board games. I just pick them up quickly. So later when everybody knows the game, I'll lose. But like for a first play, I tend to do decently well at some games at least. Okay. So for anybody who's not familiar with Let's Make a Bus Route, the original game, it is a multiplayer flip and fill or roll and write game where everybody is collectively drawing on a single shared board and they are making bus routes. Um, I just realized I don't actually have the board. I put it over here. So we have two different boards that we can choose from. We have the city and we have Mars. <laughs> I don't know why Mars is an option for bus routes, but I'm assuming you all will want me to play on the Mars side, but you can let me know whether we want the city or Mars. Actually, the city might be easier for you all to see on stream. So I might actually say we're going to do the city no matter what, because I think this is going to be easier for you all to read than the Mars side, even though the Mars side looks real cool. So, um, so yeah, we're going to do this. The way this game works is it is only for one or two players. Um, oh, okay, good call, Nick. Yeah, City is a better option to start with. It's for one or two players. So if you play this solo, technically you play it as if it were a two-player game and you play through it twice. So you're basically competing against yourself or you have your own, the lines from your previous game um, in the second game, uh, which can create traffic when you're drawing bus routes and whatnot. And I can actually zoom this in farther. Oh my gosh, it's so wiggly. Um, so that way you all will be able to see a little bit more. It's not gonna be super clear, but uh, I also need you to be able to see the dice tray. Let's see. Well, that will, yeah, that'll work. I can always slide the dice over if they're not showing up on stream, but that will generally work. Okay, so let's look at setup for the solo game. So we need um, the blue pin for this first game, not the red one. Although this is definitely pink, but in the rule book it says red. So if I say red, that's why. Um, also, the eraser does not stay. Is that like that in all of them? Interesting. Oh, I guess, oh, I guess you could like flip it over if it gets like gross. That's pretty neat. Okay. So we need to determine our route plan and start location. So um, we use a one white die and one black die to do that. And we use this little board. So I'm going to roll one white die, one black die. You need to stop with the op start with the opposite scoring. You're right. This is, yep, the one that has the blue and red. I had that face up earlier and then I moved everything around and messed it up. So thank you. Oh, okay. Well, we got the little um, gray guy. I don't know what he's called. So we do C and 
star. So I have to pick my start location and it has to be one of the stars that are on the board. Um, let's go for this one up here. I think I circle it. Yeah. And then I also circle the star over here to start off with. So we're starting up here for that star. Uh, our route is C. So we're gonna try and hit as many of the C's as we can on the board. Ooh, maybe I should actually start next to one of them then, cause that might be smarter. Here, let's start here, cause it's next to a C. That seems like a better start location. Oh, tell her I said hi to mom. Okay. Whoop. All right. So yeah, let me get the terminology for all these things right so I don't screw it up because I said the wrong things earlier. Make sure I've got all of this right for you all. So those are students. The gray ones are students. So we've got tourists, commuters, students, the elderly, parents with children, and the red thing is the, I don't remember what it's called. There's a special name for it. I don't remember what the red penalty is. No, that's down in the pink section. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, so what we're gonna do on each turn, so there are to a total of six white dice in the game, but in the solo game, you only use five of the white dice. Um, and you roll those five white dice and the one black die on your turn. This will be an example. This is not gonna be my real first turn, but I would roll all of the dice and then I choose three of the white dice to mark off over on this board. So that in the original game would be like picking up tourists or commuters or the elderly. Um, and then uh, once those three dice have been removed, let's say I used those three, then as the second player, I choose one of the remaining two dice um, to draw a route on the board. And those correspond with this stuff up here. So in, for instance, if I chose this purple die with the uh, tourist symbol on it, then I would mark off one of the marks here and I would draw a three straight path on my board. Um, the black die, do I, do I even need to roll the black die at this point? I don't remember. No, I don't think I need the black die right now. So we can just leave that out for a little bit. I think it's just the white dice for most of the turns. Yep, so we make three marks, then we draw a path, and we're gonna do that 12 times total. Uh, and then we're gonna score. Uh, there are special abilities that I can earn, or special like actions, and if I use those, they get removed. But if I bank them, if I don't use them, but I've acquired them fully, I can carry them over into the second game where I use the other marker and I draw a new route starting from scratch. And then I combine the two scores to um, get my final score. So for the record, while I have read through the rule book, I'm, like I said, I'm bad at learning games from the rule book. Chances are I may mess up some small rules. So if you are watching this to learn the game, don't, because <laughs> it's not going to go well for you. I, th I think I've gotten the gist of it from everything. And most of the stuff is pretty simple. I'll have to look up the special abilities um, again. But I think for the most part, we should be good to go. So I am actually going to go ahead and start. And we're going to roll the five white dice. Okay. So we've got a parent and child. We've got two commuters and we've got two students. Um, and then, so this is what's interesting is because whatever three dice I pick will determine what dice I have available for the route I'm going to draw. Also, I forgot to mark off turn one. I need to make sure I do that because otherwise I'm gonna lose track of how many turns I've taken. I'm gonna take I 
if I get down here, I could, okay, okay, okay. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take the two commuters. So we'll mark that and that. And I will also take a parent. So I circle the outside of one of these, but I don't remember how I determine which one I circle because they're different symbols. I don't remember if I get to pick or not. I'll have to look. This is new. This was not in the original game. For each symbol, write the points. Oh, no, that's scoring. <laughs> We're not scoring it yet. We're just writing them down so far. Okay, parents with children. Oh, no, that's when you reach a parent icon on the map. No, I need to know what I roll a parent what I do. The roll. Here we go. Parent and child. Okay. Make a mark in the area with the parent and child icon. In the parent area, there are three types of symbols. Using you, one parent icon, you can fill in any one symbol. Oh, I see. Okay, so hitting the, the marks on the map allows me to circle them. Rolling them allows me to fill them in. So that's perfect. So I can then fill in the one circle I already have from the start of the game. So we can fill this one in. Cool. Okay, then we're going to use this for our second thing for, and we're going to draw two straight lines out from our starting spot. So we're going to go down. We're going to go down again. And these red areas are automatic traffic, which is kind of a bummer, but we've hit some traffic already. So um, I assume this is the traffic section. So now we mark off turn number two, and we roll again. That is the traffic section. Perfect. I figured as much. That's These games are pretty intuitive, so. Um, okay. I'm going to take, so, ooh, um, I kind of want to get down to this commuter station, but if I could pick up another, oh yeah, I can pick up another. Okay. Okay. I know what I'm doing here. So we want to save one of these. So I'm going to take a commuter. Oh wait, what letters do I need to go for? I need to go for C. I love y'all. I started here because it was next to the letter C. And then what did I do? I went immediately away from the letter C. I'm so good at this. <laughs> That's totally fine. So I'm doing it anyway. We're marking a commuter. We're going to, ma we can't do the parent and child, so that's not an option. So then we're going to do a tourist and an elderly. Okay, so now we're going to use the commuter die for our path, which is going to go with two bends. So we go bend, bend, and that gets us one more traffic. But we do drop off our three commuters, so that's pretty cool. So we're going to get eight points because we have all three of them. And also bonus gives me... Oh, no, no. It doesn't give you both bonuses. It only gives you the, the largest one, I believe, when you score. At least I think that's how it is in the, in the original game. I think you only get one of the bonuses. Yes, I am correct. Awesome, I remembered things. Okay, so I get one tourist. So that goes here. Um, okay, so then we go to turn three. Okay. Ooh, we could pick up a couple more tourists. So are we going to be able to take them anywhere is the question. Ooh, yes, we can. Okay, hold on. 
We have, uh, oh no, that's also the same die. Dang it. Okay, that's fine. We can, we can pick up one tourist. Okay, so we're going to pick up a tourist. It's okay. We don't have to score the whole 14 points. So we're going to pick up a tourist. We're going to pick up an elderly person. And we're going to pick up a student. Then we're going to use the tourist die for our movement to do three straight in a row. So we're going to go one, two, this gets circled, three. Since it's a green light, we automatically get to go one additional spot. So we're going to go there and we're going to drop off our three tourists for nine points. I think we're doing, we're doing okay so far. Um, okay. So now we move on to turn number four. I need to kind of, I want to kind of loop back up and try and at least get to this letter C if I can. Because otherwise I'm going to miss all of the C's. I don't know. Maybe we can loop back around. We'll see. How was everybody's day? It felt like a Monday, even though it's Tuesday. I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, the week will hopefully go by quickly. I'm driving to Utah this weekend to go to my friend's wedding. So that will be fun. Okay. We... Oh, and I forgot to circle the star that I ran into over here. Because um, then if I pick up the parent and child, I can fill it in. Where do we want to go? I could use that elderly person to go up here and catch C right there. It's not horrible. So then if that is the case, here, I'll pick up a student. I will pick up parent and child. And then I'll pick up a tourist. Okay, and then we're gonna use the elderly die for our route. And we're gonna go up through some traffic and over here to see. I'm gonna go ahead and circle it. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I'm going to just for my own like reminder. Um, I do need to mark that traffic. Okay. Um, I think that's it for that turn. So number five, this goes quick. This goes really fast, especially considering I barely know the rules. Oof, work day was long today. Yeah. Coming back from a holiday is always kind of a bummer because like you, it feels like you have more to do, even though, even if everybody was off work, I don't know, or at least it does for me. Oh, we got the, the red symbol, which can give us the little, um, one line thing if we want. Hmm. We could pick up a couple more tourists. We could pick up a couple more elderly people. I'm a little bit torn about which route I want to draw. Okay. I think what we're going to do is we're going to pick up one elderly person, two tourists, and then use the elderly die for our route. So we won't have that one available to us anymore. Oh yeah, and I keep forgetting I can mark off stuff down here for the, um, oh, that's what I need to do, hold on. I That's, okay, we're gonna reverse this real quick. I'm gonna take back one of those tourists. Actually, I'm going to take back both of them. I'm going to keep the elderly person. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to instead mark a tourist and the red thing down here in the bonus area, which will allow me to potentially unlock some of these special abilities. This one allows me to re-roll dice. That seems, oh, but this is the one with the tourist. So we'll put them up here. 
So we're gonna mark off that and that. And then we'll still use the elderly one for our route, so that's fine. So we've hit a university. So we're gonna mark that off over here. And then we go up, which gets us to a green light. So we get to keep going one more. We're gonna go this way. Yes. Okay, cool. Taking Friday off meant catching up on t catching up today on it. Oh yeah, that's like a lot of people really like to take days off before or after a holiday. I am one of them, although I did not do that this time around. Um, but yeah, then yeah, catching up is ugh, kind of the worst. I work. I my team at my company is really small too, so like if I'm not there, there's like nobody to do my work for me. <laughs> so anything I don't do or anything I'm not there for, I have to do when I come back, which is kind of a bummer. Oh, forgot to mark number six. Okay. Ooh, we got another red one that we could mark theoretically down there and unlock that bonus. Let me look at if I'm doing the bonuses right real quick before I continue. Okay, you can carry over special effects as long as you've completely gotten them. Okay, where's the, oh, here they are, okay. Maintenance is changing the die. You get to turn it to an icon of your choice. New models re-rolling dice. And then bus terminal, roll the black die. Oh, I see. It can be used twice. Oh, that's why there's two marks here and here. Okay, okay, okay. Nick says, with no travel plans, I have extended all of my long weekends with holidays. Nice. Yeah, that makes sense. If you've got the vacation days to use, might as well. Make four marks. Even if you can't make a mark with the black die, you must take it. Okay, so that's for the bus terminal one. Does it show how to mark them? Yes. Trace around the square. Write a four in the square on the right. You'll earn four points at the end of the game. Okay, so then after they're acquired, then you can use them in subsequent turns, but not the turn you acquire them in. Okay, cool. So we're definitely doing this. And we'll put four points here, outline this. And then we don't have to use it this game. We can save it for the next game. And I feel like the, the second game is gonna be harder, so it might be good to save it for that reason. I don't know for sure, but. Oh my gosh, Lana looks so cute back there. <laughs> she just went. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, then what are the other two we want? Do we want to get, can't do the parent and child one. That's not an option. And I can't mark a route for that one. So we definitely need to do an elderly person here. And then we'll, I guess we'll do a student. So then we have to do the student for the route. So we're going to go two straight. I mean, yeah, that's fine. No, it's not. Oh, but I can modify the, okay. We're going to have to modify it. It's okay. We'll do that. So we'll go here which gets me some traffic. And then we're gonna mark off this to allow me to bend the route. But we're gonna, oh, we're only dropping off one tourist. That's not a bueno. Meh, whatever, it's fine. We'll take the two points. Okay. My options are gonna start becoming limited. Yeah, I'm the same way, Nick. I would like to travel and I miss traveling like desperately, but I am not comfortable quite yet. Although I really, really, really am hoping that by PAX Unplugged in December, it will be safe, like really safe to travel. Um, I actually already got a hotel <laughs> for PAX Unplugged. So I'm being very hopeful about that. Um, so if you, if you need a roommate again this year for PAX Unplugged, hit me up because you were a good roomie to have. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, and we ran into, hold on. I, I, I need to actually pay attention when I hit these spots here. So circle that. Cause then in theory we can take a parent child, uh, little doohickey. 
So we definitely are gonna wanna mark an elderly person because I know I can't use that for a route. So we'll do that for sure. We'll mark, I'll mark a commuter. And then, sure, we'll do the parent and child. I'll fill in this circle. And then I'll use the parent child for, so now I can either go two straight or a bend. So that's nice that it's flexible. Um, I wanna get back up to C here. So I am gonna go ahead and go through this traffic. And then do I wanna go straight or do I wanna, if I go this way, yeah, we're gonna go this way. And then it'll allow me to do an extra because of the green light. So yeah, I feel like that's good. Oh, no, I don't have to mark those yet. Okay, um, yeah. Oh, and then another circle. So we wanna try and pick up some commuters and hopefully drop them off this next turn. Was that turn seven? I don't think it was. I think I marked off six when I did it. I guess you're skipping packs, you for sure. Oh, that's fine. Don't, no, don't, no apologies needed. I don't know for sure that I'm going, honestly. I am just hopeful that I might be able to. Whoa, that's a lot of parent and child. And hey, but we did get two commuters. So that's a good sign, I suppose. Okay, so I am gonna take Yeah, two commuters and a parent child. So I'll fill in this. Then we'll use the parent child route, which will go. One, two, three, four, five. Have I marked all my traffic? No, I missed that last one, didn't I? Because one, two, three, four, five. I should have five traffic so far, and I only have four. Okay, and then we're going to go straight. And then I'm gonna go down, which gets me to a stoplight. And I'm gonna go this direction. Okay, so we're dropping off commuters. We already did that circle on the last turn. We hit more traffic, lots of stuff to keep track of. Um, and then, yeah, we're dropping off these commuters, which also gives us a tourist. Okay, now turn number eight. Oh, I guess I can use this. One, two, three, four. Ooh, so that was eight. We only have four left, so this is nine. Okay, because I've been able to mark a route every single time, so I can use that kind of as a gauge too. I thought I might have missed one. I'm glad I was able to figure that out. Whoa, that's a lot of students. Um, okay. I'm gonna pull this red one. Well, actually I might not, because I might wanna use that for a route, because I don't have a lot of options left. Ooh, yeah, we need to use that for the route. Okay, so we'll do, I can't do the parent and child. So I guess we're just gonna do three students. One, two, three. I need to hit another university is what I need to do. I bet I can get up to that one. And then we'll use the red route to draw a single line. Um, we're just gonna go right over here. Okay, turn 10. <gasps> Hi legends. How are you today? Happy pride month. Whoa, I hadn't been rolling a lot of those red symbols and now I got three of them. Ooh, that's interesting. I might actually mark them all down here. Ooh, cause I could do this. Okay, okay, okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mark. Yeah, I like I like the ability to, well, do I wanna re, the re-roll or do I want the black die? Um, oh, I need to keep, yeah, let's keep that out. So let's do, we're gonna mark off one, two, three gives us this special ability and four points. And then we'll use, finished working, getting some Burger King, nice. I'm a fan of the chicken fries. I don't know what it is about them. Actually, you know what, it's not even the chicken fries. 
Of all of the fast food places, Burger King's buffalo sauce is one of my favorite, like, fast food sauces. So I like it for that. Like, I think I get the chicken fries because I like the buffalo sauce. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm the only person that does that. Um, so then for my route, we can either do the commuter symbol or the red symbol. If we go one two three i don't have any okay i think it's fine if we skip that but we're only going to be dropping off one tourist again which is kind of a bummer i think it's okay though so we're gonna go one this is a star two we drop off tourist for two points three over here I could technically bend it back this way and hit that stoplight that might be better I think I'm gonna do that that gives me an extra line so we're gonna go north now okay so now this is turn 11 then we'll do turn 12 and then we move into uh, game number two where I'm playing against my previous lines or not against, but like my previous lines get in the way. So there's more traffic. Um, okay. I love that I rolled three tourists, even though I can't mark any more tourists. I don't remember what it says when you can't mark an icon. We gotta figure that out. I do have those special abilities that I could technically use. Um, okay. Add check marks. You must choose icons where you can still make marks first. Only when there are no icons that would allow you to make marks can you choose an icon where you can't make a mark. Okay. So you just don't make a mark for the ones that you can't. Ooh, Under Falling Skies is so much fun. Legends, it's so good. I love Under Falling Skies. Okay, so we have to pick these two, which is fine. Except, oh no, that'll actually work. That'll work, okay. So we're gonna mark an elderly person and we're gonna mark a parent with a child and then we can't mark a tourist, so nothing happens with this die. But then for the route, we actually can do that. So we do three straight. Hmm. And then all we're gonna have left is a single line, is the thing. I really wanna hit up another university though. So what I think I'm gonna do is take another modification Oh, and I have to mark this if I can't use a die, right? I think I have to mark this penalty if I didn't use a die. I guess I should look before I mark it. Played it three times this past weekend. Nice. Let's see. Yeah, where's, where's the little penalty sections? I'm assuming. Yeah, let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't have to do that. Okay, okay, okay. That's if on the second choice, like the route picking choice, you can't do anything, then you mark there, which might happen in this last turn, theoretically. Um, so we'll see. But three straight, I am gonna, I, I already paid for the modification. So we're gonna do one and then we paid to bend it once, so there's that bend, and then we'll go straight again. So we did hit the university, so that's good. That'll help get us some more points there. We also hit up as another star. All right, so that's one, two, three. So then in theory, we don't, I don't have anything else that I like need to do, but I kind of want to try and get down to that C. Oh, I can't do that. I only have one line left. Do I want to pay another two points to do it again? It would be two points to get me five points. So yes, it is worth it to do that. Okay, so we're going to pay to modify it again. 
and we're gonna whoop, over here to get another C. We actually did pretty good on those. I didn't expect to, but not too shabby. Okay, last turn for this round. Penalties only for the route die. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize that right away. Ooh, played Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion three times also. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. I got the die I need for the route, so I won't have to take the negative three point penalty. Now it's just a matter of, ooh, hoo, hoo, this is actually pretty sweet. Okay. Okay. I'm not mad at this at all because what we're going to do is we're going to take the two students and the one commuter and then use the red die for the route and we're going to go straight up to the place that will let me drop off that commuter for two points. That worked out surprisingly well. Okay. Let me actually use the book for scoring this first round so I don't screw it up. Go into the solo game here. Okay. Oh, it just says score the same as the two player game, but write the total game score in the blue total area. Okay. We will. Okay. So for the ABC, we did hit three C's. So that's 10 points. Then we've got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 for tourists. For commuters, we have 18. For students, we got all eight students and two of the universities, so that's 16. We did really well, I think. Parent and child, I don't remember how those score because those are new to me, so we're going to have to look that one up. For each symbol, so circle, triangle, uh, star, write the points for the highest level achieved, second mark, okay? For every two circled spaces without the second mark, you earn one point round down. Okay, I only have one of those, so that doesn't really matter. So then I'll get six points for the circle and 10 points for the star. That's not too bad. Um, the sum of those four subtotals. Okay, I don't have any extra stuff there. So that's 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 8. Uh, minus. Ooh, did I get traffic right? Hold on, let me make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, yeah, I only have 6 traffic. That's not horrible. Okay, minus 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Negative nine. Math time. Here we go. 23, 33, 41, 57, 73, 83, 91. Goes back down to 82. That seems like a good score. I don't know. I think that's good. Uh, you know what, Legends? I, honest to God, not even, like, trying to be coy or whatever. I was fine. I had zero ill effects anywhere in my body as a result of the hot sauce. I think we didn't eat enough of it for it to really do anything. Like, it was definitely spicy, but we didn't eat enough of it for it to do anything. And I told, I told everybody during the stream, but, like, I've never had issues with hot sauce or, like, spicy food doing things to other parts of my body. So I guess I'm lucky. In that regard, <laughs> I don't know. Like when I was in college, there was this bar. Uh, so I went to college in Sioux City, Iowa. For the record, there are not a lot of bars in Sioux City, Iowa, or at least there weren't in the early 2000s when I was in college. Um, and there was this bar called Bob Rose and they did Wing Wednesday, like a lot of bars do, where wings were half price. And me and my buddies would go in on Wednesday night and eat like tons of wings. And it was so funny because all the guys would always joke about like, oh man, I'm going to be on the toilet later, blah, blah, blah. And I never understood what they were talking about. <laughs> Charity Board Gamer, thank you for the raid, friend. And thank you for the tweet earlier today. I really appreciated that. Um, for those of you who don't know, I was a guest on Charity Board Gamer's stream back in February um, where I talked about um, 
like my bisexuality. And I also talked about the Trevor Project, which is a nonprofit that is really close to my heart. Um, and since it is Pride Month starting today, Pride, um, uh, Chris uh, tweeted a link to that stream. Um, it was a really fun uh, day and I really enjoyed talking to him. So uh, if y'all haven't seen it, you should go check that out. Okay, so we got 82 points for the first round. So we, I did not use either one of these special abilities, so they carry over because they're completed. If I'd only filled in a couple of the symbols, then it wouldn't get to carry over, but they both get to carry over. We erase everything else on this board. So this all goes away. These all go away. I guess I could take pictures. Whatever, it's going to be in the stream if I want proof of things later. Swoop. Leave those. Okay, I'm also, for the record, I'm really digging this game. I probably would enjoy playing it two-player more than on solo because I'm not a huge solo gamer, but this does have a very similar feel to Let's Make a Bus Route, but it's more compact, which is nice. Like, this oh, would be this easier to travel so with. Thank House you of Afro Cape's Curls, thank you for the follow. Also, your username is amazing. Love it so much. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Never go solo, take a Wookiee. That is a good piece of advice. Okay, so now we're going to grab what the game calls the red marker, but this is definitely pink. I like pink, not complaining. And we do it all again. So, oh, and I can erase these as well. Dice court, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so we do the same thing we did last time to start off where we roll one white die and the, the black die to determine our starting location um, okay, so for the black die, oop, fling in the little, that's not going to stay in there at all. I'm literally just going to pull it out. So we got C again. That doesn't seem advantageous. Are we, do you, can you do the same one twice? Or does it have to be a different one? Let's see, resetting the board, determine, okay. Oh, only the, the white die is not rolled. Only the black die is rolled. Okay, hold on. We're going to re-roll. Do whatever I want. <laughs> okay, let's see. Choose one of the two letters not used in the first game for the route plan. That is smarter and makes more sense. Um, the start location is determined by the black die. The parent symbol can be the same as the first game, but the same start location cannot be chosen. Okay, I see. So... Um, so the red one is also a star. Um, so we do have to start at a star. We'll start up here because this section of the board is less <laughs> busy currently. Um, and then for our bonus letter, let's go with, should go with A or B? It doesn't really matter. They're both all mixed up all over the place. I'll say A. Sure, why not? We'll do A. Okay. Thank you so much, Charity Board Gamer. Yeah, I've had a good day. It felt like a Monday, even though it's Tuesday because of the holiday. Um, the shirt is part of Target's Pride collection. Um, they have some pretty cool merch that they've got going on right now for Pride. Um, I've heard that Old Navy has some interesting Pride merch as well. Um, and I... I want to state for the record that a lot of people like kind of make fun of these large companies for like putting out pride merch because they say like, oh, they're just doing it because it's trendy or whatever. And like that might be true. I'm not saying that isn't true, but all of these large companies doing this helps normalize it and it helps make it more okay and acceptable. Like if you see this stuff, at Target and at Old Navy and, you know, wherever else. Um, it, it makes it a little bit easier, I think, for people who are LGBTQ AI um, to exist uh, say, more, more safely. So I'm a fan. Uh, I, I don't like companies that, you know, just change their logo to a rainbow and do nothing else. Like, their consumerism is an issue regardless of whether it's Pride Month or not. But I do like 
cute merch and I'll admit it. I like cute merch. So Legends just came out of Target. Nice. Um, Charity Board Gamer picked up the Everyone is Awesome Lego set today. Uh, that Lego set is pretty cool looking. Like I'm not really into Lego that much, but it's, it's pretty neat looking. So that's cool. All right, friends, we're going to take the white dice and we're going to start with turn number one for game number two. We're going to have some traffic to contend with this time around y'all. Okay. Um, so... Oh, and I did not, what was the symbol, the star? Uh, I needed to circle that down here. Okay, so I'm gonna take elderly, I'm gonna take a tourist, and I'm gonna take a student. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Get some sleep. I hope you rest well. <laughs> Coda! It's Coda! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Coda's here. Coda's here. I gotta like say hi to Coda. Hi, Coda! <laughs> I, my hair is a mess. Oh gosh, everything is a mess. Um, how is your day? How are you? Uh, your game of Blood on the Clock Tower this weekend for TLN was a gosh darn delight. I have not watched the VOD yet. I still need to watch the VOD. Um, I think I probably sounded like an idiot early in the game because I definitely was trusting the bad guys. But like early in the game, I think that's okay. I don't know. Somebody told me that I caught on pretty quickly, but I don't remember that at all. I don't, <laughs> I feel like I didn't figure it out until the very, very end. So I think people were just being nice. Um, the VOD is definitely worth it. Yeah, I need to go through because I want to see what it all looked like from Coda and the chat's point of view. Because um, I was just going around talking to everybody. Like, I'm, you. I mean, you all know I'm a talker in general. Like, that's, I talk a lot. And I do that in social deduction games. Um, oh, Coda, you ran such a good game. It really was awesome. Y'all, uh, let me, hold on, let me give a shout out to Coda, so you all can go over to her channel and check out the VOD for Blood on the Clock Tower because y'all are gonna wanna see that. Let's see if I can actually type. Let's see if the shout out works, hopefully it will. A bit, um, I appreciate every last bit of support. Uh, uh, we have high chews, we got some snacks going in. Oh yeah, by, by, the, by the way, uh, Slumber. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Hornus says, Crystal, your Among Us skills were on full display and I was laughing so hard between you and Rock. Oh gosh. I honestly, like, that was the thing. Like, I don't, I don't want to immediately, like, meta a game because sometimes when you go meta, it can really, like, mess up the experience for other people because if you have, like, information that they don't have, that can be rough. Um, but... Like, I have to use my knowledge of rock, right? I have to. Like, if I'm in a social deduction game with somebody that I know, I have to use the information that is available to me. And so I would get into rooms with other people and I'd be like, rock is good. Rock is good. I know rock is good. And they're like, how do you know? And I'm like, he's good. Like, just trust me. He is who he says he is. And I just, I just know. Um, oh, and fun fact. I told a weird guy, rocks tell. I have not told anybody else, but Weird Guy and I were in a room together privately. Nobody else was in there. And I told Weird Guy, rocks tell. So now you all can hound Weird Guy for that information <laughs> if you want. Don't, don't, I hopefully he won't tell you because um, it's more fun to keep it a secret from Rock. Like, I don't, I don't like, well, I don't want to bother Rock, but like, it's more fun to not tell. Um, yep, you weren't there. You weren't in the room when I, when I told Weird Guy. Um, so, oh my gosh, I hope those dice didn't matter. Do I already do stuff? I definitely haven't drawn a route yet. I don't remember what the dice were. So I picked a student, a tourist, and an elderly person, and I had a parent and child 
I know I had a parent and child available, so I'm gonna choose that as my uh, my die for my route. Oh no, the other one was a student. I wanted to do the student, right? Oh gosh, cause yeah, cause then I can do the, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is fine. So we're gonna do the student, which is two straight lines. So we're gonna go over here, which means we're already dropping off a tourist. So that's not a good start, but it does get us a traffic light, which takes us down to this circle. Um, and which letter did we pick? We picked A, okay. Excuse me. Okay, turn number two. Let's keep this party moving. I wish I could play with you all on Friday. I mean, I'm really excited about driving to Utah for my friend's wedding, um, but it would be fun to play with you all. Okay, well that's... Hmm. I mean, sure. Okay, we're gonna take, I'm gonna pick up three tourists right now, which is really ridiculous. But, and then we're gonna use one of the red ones to make a single line. We're gonna, do I wanna head over into the corner there? Or do I wanna go down to the university? Let's go down to the university. Mark that off. Turn three. Might be getting the Brambeard crew in. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, this one is cocked, so we're gonna re-roll that. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yes! Atticus! Thank you for the subscription. Six months, six months streak. Look at you. Like a boss. Thank you so much for the subscription. We really, really appreciate it. I hope you're having an awesome day and happy Pride Month. Um, oh, and my watch just reminded me, y'all, that tomorrow evening at right now at this time, 24 hours from right now, 8.30 p.m. Pacific, which I get that that's late, um, but... Uh, 8.30 p.m. tomorrow night, I'm going to be a guest on Rock's channel um, where we're going to be playing Mario Party because it's now online. There is a way to play Mario Party online. So I'm going to give a shout out to Rock so y'all can follow him if you're not following him already because um, I'm going to be on his channel tomorrow night. So that'll be fun. All right, let's see here. Oh, Silver Metal Tavern caught me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like they were doing something exciting in that little clip. I am going to pick up some pants, which is actually commuters, but I always call them pants because it's funnier. Picking up pants. And then I will also do a red one. So we'll mark off this. So then we have these two to choose from. Well, I don't want to do that one. So, oh no, I don't want to do, e oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're, we're, we're getting, one of those commuters is not getting picked up because we don't want to do that. We're going to limit our options too much in the future if we do that. Okay, so now we'll do the student, I guess, instead. Okay, so now we can use those pants, the commuter, to draw a ziggity zag line. So what we'll do is we'll go if you go down there, it's gonna be get me one traffic. I mean, I'm gonna get run into traffic eventually no matter what, so I don't know, it's fine. We'll just go one, then the zig, and then we got a zag. So, sure, we'll zag back up here to this triangle. Circle that. I need to roll some parent and children symbols so I can start marking in those circles. All right, turn four. I should just not cap the marker. It's gonna get annoying if I keep doing that. This game is fun, Coda. I love the original and this version is also super fun. I am finding out just now. Um, oof. Why, why can't I roll parent and child symbols? Okay, what does this one allow me to do? I'm gonna maybe use my special abilities. I need to look up 
what they actually do because I'm not using them currently. New model. No, that's not this one. This is maintenance, changing the dice. Change the icon of one white die. So after choosing three dice, you can choose one of the symbols or on the second turn, after choosing one of the three white dice, you can use the maintenance special. Okay. So I guess I could pick one of them if I really wanted to, but okay, we're going to take this. And that, and then I need one more. I'll take the student, I guess, and then we'll use the elderly for our. So I'm not going to use the special ability yet. Okay, so we're going to go. I can avoid the traffic if I do that. That seems good. So we'll go here and then here. So that way we're missing out on that traffic. Okay. So now we're going to turn five. Oh, <gasps> Atticus did their first stream. Atticus, tell me about it. I want to hear. Please tell me what, okay, hold on. Well, also let me give you a shout out then so people can go and follow you more easily. I have not rolled the dice yet. I'm remembering this now. Okay, hold on. Let me see here. Insert assembling stream, nice. Why isn't the GIF popping up? Oh, probably, it might be because there aren't VODs saving to your channel yet, maybe. But regardless, people can go follow you. And I need to follow you also. Uh, if I click it from there, what's going to happen? Let's find out. Okay, good, it opened it over here. So I'm going to follow you from the Blitz account right now, and I will try to remember to follow you from my personal account later. Because I don't want to sign out from the Blitz account at the moment. But congrats on your first stream. That's super exciting. Okay, now we can roll the dice. Very casual. Built an insert for quacks, nice. My quacks is, I've got a Plano box in mind that I love. Also, I really want the new expansion for quacks, but does anybody know if Board Game Geek has the acrylic tokens for the newest expansion yet for Get Quacks? I'm assuming no. I haven't seen anything about them, but I don't wanna buy the new expansion if I can't add it in yet because I have the, the tokens for everything else so far and I love using them. I don't wanna switch back. Actually, I don't even think I have the cardboard ones anymore. I think I threw them away. I don't remember. New expansion doesn't have tokens. Okay, but I assume it will, right? I hope. Oh gosh, if they don't do tokens for that, that would be such a bummer. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, where are we at? We're close to a place to drop off tourists. I only have one spot left there, so we'll definitely do that. Then we definitely want to do a parent child as well, so we'll fill in. It doesn't really matter which one, so we'll fill in that one. And then I guess we'll do the student. Oh, but then we're gonna have to do three straight. That's okay, we can, we can pay to, to do a zigzag. So we're gonna pick up, oop, pick up a student. This eraser is not gonna stay. Okay, so then I'm gonna modify the route and we're gonna do three. So we're gonna go one. And then we're going to zig with that thing we paid for. So that's two. And then this is three, but that gets me some traffic. Have I really not hit any traffic yet until now? Dang, I'm doing good. I mean, admittedly, I'm avoiding the part of the board where there is a lot of traffic. And I ended on a stoplight. So we get to keep going. And I think we probably want to go this direction. So that gets us triangle. Okay, cool. Turn six. Awesome. I'm actually keeping track of my terms properly. So Hornus says, still haven't played Quacks yet. Nobody in my old group owned it before I moved last year. Uh, oh, the Alchemist expansion is from a new publisher. Oh, no. 
So it's not from North Star? So, like, are there never going to be the tokens for it? Because that would be the biggest bummer. I mean, assuming the expansion is good, which I would like to think that it is, because I, I love Quacks. I love it a lot. Like, I like Push Your Luck games anyway, but I really like Quacks. Um, ooh, and Dice Tower Dish, since you're here right now, hold on. Y'all... So Dice Tower Dish, Corey sent me some really spicy ginger beer in the mail and I haven't tried it yet because I kind of got a little bit scared, <laughs> which is silly because I said I wanted really spicy ginger beer and then I haven't drank it. So I'm going to go get one right now and we're going to try uh, a ginger beer. So hold on. Let me go back to my face. Oh my gosh. What is happening? My hair is like caught in my headphones or something. Warsh pulled most of his games from North Star. They went to CMYK, but the plastic bits are made independently by Board Game Geek. Yeah, I remember that. So hopefully Board Game Geek can work with um, the new publisher to get bits made because everybody loves those freaking bits, man. They're so good. You can pre-order the game from CMYK. Well, yeah, but if I can't, there's no reason for me to get the expansion if I can't get the bits too because I only play with the bits. So, all right, I'm going to go get a ginger beer. Um, Y'all, here, actually, can I put it on just the doggo cam? Do I have a way to do that? I usually do. Let's see. I don't know what, what's going to happen when I click on this, so hold on. Okay, that did not work. <laughs> I was like, hey, let's see what happens, and it's dark. So hold on. I'm going to get the ginger beer. I will be back in literally like 30 seconds or so. Okay, so we've got Blenheim Hot Ginger Ale. It? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. I need to auto mod. Oh, thank you, Ambi. Um, this smells, I am not kidding. This smells like witch hazel. Do you? <laughs> like astringent like like the the astringent that my mom used when I was a kid that is what this smells like no it's not a bad smell it just like it's very medicinal smelling that's not necessarily a bad thing I'm worried um now I'm gonna take a drink of water first just in case Oh, you don't need tokens for the new expansion? That's cool. That's good to know. Okay. So, Corey warned me about this ginger ale, and he said not to drink it while I'm in a car. <laughs> because it would be dangerous, because it's really spicy. Um, there are patient tokens, but they don't go in your bag. Oh, okay. Well, then I should pre-order that expansion. Why? Why is my hair doing this? Why? Y'all these headphones I don't even know okay I'm scared I'm putting off I'm delaying uh okay I'm gonna take a small sip here we go That's really tasty. That's really good. It is not as spicy as I was expecting. Because I think Corey set my expectations really, really, like, intense for this. And it's not that bad. Was the cap pink? Yes, I think. Are there different ones? I thought they were all the same. Are they not all the same? I could go look at the cap. It's in the kitchen. Um... I think the cap was pink. Is that right? It's, I mean, it's good. I really like it.
Pink cap is hot. Brown cap is weaker. Blue is dye. Oh, this is definitely spicy. Like, spicy is the wrong word to use, but that's how I describe ginger ale because that's the only way I know how to describe it. There's, there is a word. Somebody put it in the chat uh, when Ambie and I were streaming this weekend, and I don't remember what that word was. You, you were the one. You, Corey, you were the one that put it in the chat. It was you. I don't remember the word that you said. But that word. That's what this is. It's good. It's really tasty. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I'm really enjoying it. Mm. That is yummy. Okay. I do. Pop it open, go to drink it, then breathe in the fizz heavily. Then she coughed and ran off the road. Oh, okay. Acerbic. Yes, that was it. That was the word. Hi, Lana. What are you doing? What are you doing, goober face? All right, let's go back to the game. All right. Um... Oh gosh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that snuck up on me. Oh gosh, that was rude. I'm so sorry. I have no idea if I needed to roll. Let's see, what did we just do? I know I did the three lines where I bent down, down and then that gave me the extra one. So, and then we've one, two, three, four, five. So I'm missing something. Oh, maybe I just marked off to start turn six, but I haven't, I haven't actually done turn six yet. That's probably where we're at. Okay. Let's see. Let's do elderly person. Parent child. Actually, let's do a couple parent child ones. Ooh, no, we're gonna leave one of those and we'll do the commuter instead. Okay, so elderly, parent child, commuter. And then We'll do the parent-child die for the route, so we can either do two straight or a bend. So what we're gonna do is go one, two, which takes us up to a stoplight, which allows us to keep going, so then we can go drop off our commuters. So that's good. Um, we did run into some traffic. I'm gonna mark that now so I don't forget. And then we're dropping off three commuters for eight points and a tourist. Awesome. Going to turn seven. Mm -hmm. Oops, that was green. It was green. I don't want to cheat. I don't know if that, uh, let's see. How close am I? I'm not that far away from another one of those. Ooh, I want to hit up that star if I can. Okay, I think I know what I want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these three. So we're going to take parent, child, parent, child, elderly person. And then we're going to use the blue die. So that's two bends. So we're going to go up, bend, bend. And that gets us another star down here this is nice i'm really avoiding my previous route well so far which is kind of neat um so going to turn eight Corey says i just got my copy of bus route dice today nice to get the quick tutorial yay well hopefully i'm not screwing it up <laughs> it's honestly if you've played regular bus route the this is really similar um I'm not using the special abilities at all, though, because my brain isn't remembering that they exist while I'm playing. I know I just said out loud that they exist, but, like, it's not... So far, I don't think I've, like, needed them, and so I'm... If I don't use them, I don't use them. It's fine. Speaking of which, though, I am going to mark off this last little spot down here so I can actually 
get the four points for that one. And then we're also going to take, hmm, tourist, tourist. Yes. Okay. So we're going to mark two tourists and then a commuter. And then we're going to use, oh, we have to use this one. Okay, so that's fine. So we'll use the elderly guy for the route, which is a two lines with a bend. So we go down to the university, mark that off. And then over to the stoplight, which allows us to go one more. So that gives us a triangle. Nice. And now we're, I need to head down to this purple spot. I actually want to try and hit up both that purple and that blue, or maybe this purple and that blue. That wouldn't be too bad traffic wise. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, turn nine. We're almost done. Okay. So we probably just want to keep you for route purposes or the touristy or, ooh, actually, we could just go all the way down to the commuter station now, but I don't have any commuters to drop off. Well, I have one. I want another one though. I could just, I could use my ability to change one of the dice. That's actually not a bad call. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick. Tourist, student, student. And I'm gonna mark off this ability to change one of my dice. And I'm gonna change one of these students to a commuter. Oh wait, so I don't, yeah, I didn't mark off anything yet. So tourist, student, commuter. Then we're gonna use the other purple die here for three lines straight down, one, two, three. And we're going to drop off those two commuters for four points plus an elderly person. Okay. So now we, we're, we're going to turn 10. We got, we can do this. Jess says, I just realized this stream is perfect for what I'm working on. I'm printing daily maps for a 7,100 mile road trip this summer. 7,100 miles. That is banana pants. Where are you going? I'm so curious. That's a lot of miles. Like, obviously you're going a lot of places, but like kind of give me the, like the gist of it. Are you just doing, with a seven and an eight year old? Oh my gosh, that's so much time in a car with little kids. My parents definitely drove, like did some long road trips with my sister and I when we were young. I don't remember how old we were. I feel like we were a little bit older though. I feel like we were more in the like nine to 11 range starting north of Seattle and then going around the country. Wow, that's impressive. Okay. Whoa, that's a lot of parent and child symbols. I mean, that's fine, technically. So, I have to take, no, I can't mark three parent and child and I can't mark this either. So it doesn't matter. So I'll just pick three of these. Okay. So we're going to mark this one and this one. And then we'll use... I want to try and get back. Ooh, I've kind of painted myself into a little bit of a corner. Maybe I should try and get down to this. Wait, did I ever... So I've gone through two of the purple things. I forgot to write down that when I scored this one, but I, so, but I must have scored it. Cause I, I'm going to say I scored that one. Cause I went through it and then I've marked four more since then. I don't know why I forgot to write that one down. Cause I already, I scored that one for two points. And then this one would have been, cause I remember I rolled a bunch of tour assault at the same time. I just forgot to write the points down. Okay. Or I'm cheating. Who knows? You're, you're afraid you'll traumatize the kids. Oh, gosh. 
that sounds like a lot of fun. I hope that they appreciate it, because obviously that's a lot of planning on your part to make that happen. Um, okay, so we did the parent-child ones, and then we'll do... Yeah, okay, here, plan, good. Do the green die, so then we're gonna go one, two, which gets us to a stoplight, so we go down, which gets us another A, which is good. Oh yeah, I didn't even, look, I went through this one earlier and didn't even mark it. Okay, so I only have two of the A's. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the third one. That's okay though. I wanna try and make it to this spot to drop off because I need that, I want that 14 points. Okay, turn 11. Okay, well, that's a lot of elderly people. I mean, that's not horrible. Um, but here's the thing. I need either a gray or a red. Oh, I do have a red. I can use that. Okay. So here, I'll take three elderly. One, two, three. Oh, I can use my reroll ability if I want to. Nah. I'll use it on the last turn if I need to. Um, and then we'll use the red die for a single line going right here. Yeah, okay. So then, last turn. Okay, well, these are worthless. I can't mark those. Oof, this is bad. Okay, I'm definitely using a reroll. So let's make sure I do the reroll ability correctly because I definitely want to use it. New mo okay, before choosing your three white dice, you choose any number of the white dice and reroll them. Okay, so we're going to do mark one of these off. We're rerolling. Okay, we want to keep this one for sure, but then we'll reroll all of the rest because these are all pretty much worthless for me. Slightly better. Not really good though. What about using the black die? How do I do that one? Bus terminal. Before choosing your three white dice from the six, the player rolls an additional black die and chooses the black die and three white dice. Okay, sure, let's use it. Why not? Let's use all these special abilities that I haven't been using. Let's roll the black die and see what we get. We got an elderly person. Okay, that's not bad. So, we know we have to keep you, so we're gonna pick, so we're gonna do the elderly and three others. So we'll do, well, parent and child doesn't get me anything. Do any of these get me anything right now? No, mm, technically, probably not. I don't think it'll really matter. So we mark off the elderly person mark off a commuter although we are not going to be able to drop them off and these two I wouldn't have been able to do anything with anyway so we'll just pick that one then we draw two straight lines so we're deaf obviously we're going to go one we're going to drop off these tourists for 14 and then technically I just need to draw one more straight, but then that's gonna send me to a stoplight, which is gonna make me keep going. Although I can go up, so it's fine, because we're gonna get traffic no matter what. So there, and then we'll go up to C, which doesn't really do anything for me, because C is not my letter this time around. So I did get another traffic. Dude, I did amazing on the traffic. I'm just saying. Okay. Um, so that is it. Four. Oh gosh, I almost rubbed off my 82 from the first round with my hand. Let's see here. Let's score this up. So we hit two A's. So that's going to be five points for that. And then 28, 30 points. We, we did really well with tourists. Um, here, I'm going to not lay my hand on the board because I know I'm going to smudge stuff off and I'm going to want to take a picture of that in a minute. We've got 12 there. Five times two is 10. Then two, 
10 and 6, so 18. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Now here is what's interesting. How do I score the bonuses the second time around? Because I already scored two of them during the first game. So I want to make sure... Says the second game's total, okay. In the second game, you can earn the special effects that you didn't carry over from the first game if you make marks in all three cost icons. Earning and using the special effects is handled normally. For each special effect that was not carried over, do the following. Oh, okay, no, we did, oh. I think I get the points from them again. Oh wait, carried over special effects can be used starting from the first round, but they can't be acquired again and you don't score points for them a second time. Okay, so we only get the four points for the one we got this game. Cool, okay. For negatives, we did really awesome. So we get negative one here and negative two there, so negative three. All right, so math time. 35, 47, 57, 67, 75, 89, 93, 90, 90. How do I score better the second time? So that's 172. Let's see how we did, friends. There's a score guide. 172, the precious bus route. Like kind of smack dab in the middle. I'd say that's not too bad for my first game, assuming that I didn't completely screw up the rules. Also, these names for the like scoring categories are great. Super great. Um, I don't know if you all saw on Twitter, but this game has the cutest rule of any board game rule book I've ever seen. And so for those of you who do not follow me on Twitter, I have to show you. When it's talking about the two player game, it says you can sit next to each other if you like. How adorable is that? <laughs> like, I love that it says that. <laughs> like, you don't, like, only, only a Japanese board game publisher would think to put something like that in a, in a rule book, I think. And it's adorable and I love it. So that is Let's Make a Bus Route, the dice game. I am officially a fan. I really love the original bus route dice or the, the original bus route game. Um, I think I would... If you had to make me choose between the two, I would pick the first one only because I really like kind of the how it's a little more interactive. Although I haven't played this one two players yet. I actually think this one I might like equally with two, but the solo, the solo game is still good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna redraw in my 82 because it's bothering me that I can't read it. But yeah, that's, the dice game of let's make a bus route. So again, um, the link is in the chat. Um, I, this is not a sponsored stream. You know, this I bought this game with my own money. So there's nothing like, I have no obligation to them, but I really like that Sashi and Sashi has made a couple of their games available to people here in the United States through their international website. So I would say if you want to see more games of theirs or from Japanese publishers in general that can get shipped over here to America, um, go check out their website and let them know, you know, that you want to see more of their stuff. Um, they were surprised by how excited people were for this game. They did not realize that gamers here in America are fans of their work and really want to try their games. So... And I know I do. I want to play basically everything that Sashi and Sashi comes out with. Ooh, which reminds me, I haven't played Remember Our Trip in a while. It's probably been like a year and a half almost since I played that last. And I love Remember Our Trip. I want to play that again soon.